in regards to water chemistry in your swimming pool, do you just add the chemicals like directly to the pool water itself? How does that work? And the short answer to that is whatever pool chemical you're handling or dealing with or asking about has an instruction label. You can't sell pool chemicals without instructions and labels for what's in that pool chemical. And you should always defer to those instructions because there could be important safety information that, you know, might get missed in a YouTube video like this. There could be some confusion. We could be talking about something different. So you always, always, always defer to the manufacturer's instructions for the product. But let's just talk about some, you know, general purpose information for adding chemicals to swimming pools. In general, yes, you add chemicals directly to the swimming pool. The only times you wouldn't add a chemical directly to the pool is when doing so doesn't allow for like sufficient mixing together such that the chemical would all just sink to the bottom and potentially damage the surface of the pool. So in those situations, usually you have like a dedicated bucket for that chemical and that chemical only, and then you do some pre-mixing with some pool water and then that gets poured into the pool. But what about something like as generic as like bleach or liquid chlorine? Because the two are essentially the same thing. Household or consumer grade bleach is just a diluted version of pool chlorine. Otherwise, they're the exact same thing. I mean, not if the bleach has like fresh lemon scent or something like that, but just generic bleach and pool chlorine, exact same thing, just a lower concentration in the bleach. So if you just added more bleach, would that be equal to, you know, the liquid chlorine? It would be exactly the same thing in your swimming pool. So even that, how do you, how do you add liquid chlorine or bleach? Because bleach doesn't have any instructions for swimming pools on it. And there's two primary methods that people add liquid chlorine or bleach to a pool. One is the method where you kind of hold the jug out to the side and then walk around the pool, always paying attention to the direction of wind because you don't want a gust of wind to blow it out of the pool or blow it onto you and be very careful, you know, with the bottom of the jug, all the drips and all that. Every drip matters of chlorine. So you never let any errant drips drop onto the coping or the pool deck. My preferred method in dealing with liquid chlorine or liquid bleach products would be to ensure that the pump is running on high speed and then locate a pool return and pour the liquid product slowly in front of the pool return and the flow of water coming out of the pool return helps to diffuse the liquid chlorine into the water that you're adding. Most granular or powder products for swimming pool chemistry adjustment are things that need to be pre-dissolved like calcium flakes for example if you needed to increase the calcium hardness in your pool you would have to get a bucket dedicated for calcium flakes and only calcium flakes and then you would pre-dissolve that and add that to your pool maybe one worth mentioning that i would personally not pre-dissolve one of the only like powdered chemicals that i just broadcast onto the pool surface surface would be an alkalinity increaser Commonly, for increasing the alkalinity, it's baking soda. You're using baking soda, and it's so fine that when you broadcast it out, and you let it sit, and maybe I'd brush the pool floor afterwards, but I'm not really worried about it. It shouldn't cause any problems with staining. I mean, you don't definitely don't want a big clump of it just sinking to the bottom because it's going to adversely affect the localized pH there, and you could have a problem with some sort of stain as a result of this you know ph imbalance right where this clump sat like no pool chemicals should be floating to the bottom and sinking and sitting there as a clump and you don't brush them away something even as inert as baking soda so definitely nothing you know more aggressive than that always follow the instructions for the pool chemicals that you're adding never add two chemicals at the same time always leave time and space in between adding different chemicals never mix chemicals in any way sh shape or form so you don't use the same bucket to dissolve this chemical that earlier you or yesterday or last month you were dissolving a different chemical and you don't even stir them with like the same wood stick every last chemical needs to be independently stored handled that kind of thing and of course, be sure to protect yourself with protective equipment, gloves, goggles, that kind of thing. Anytime that you're handling pool chemicals at all, pay attention to the wind and don't add two things at the same time. I think we covered everything. If this information was helpful to you, be, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.